surprise to you about binoculars. Binoculars are common to us. We use it every time we travel or going somewhere, especially in places like the jungle, forests, and mountains. To see the full view, it uses special lenses to function. But what is lenses? Lenses are transparent materials made out of plastic or glass. A lens forms images by refraction, and there are two types of lenses. First are the convex lens optics. A convex lens is also known as converging lens. A converging lens is a lens that converges rays of light that are traveling parallel to its principal axis. They can be identified by their shape, which is relatively thick across the middle and thin at the upper and lower edges. Second are the concave lenses. A concave lens is a lens that possesses at least one surface that curves inwards. It is a diverging lens, meaning that it spreads out light rays that have been refracted through it. A concave lens is thinner at its center than at its edges, and is used to correct short-sightedness. As we look at the front of the binocular, you have the object lens and that's the lens that collects information, which makes its way to the ocular lens. This is the lens that does the magnification, will be the focus of our attention today. What is the type of lens used here if you are asking? Prism binoculars use convex lenses for both objects and eyepiece lenses and incorporates an erecting prism that enables an inverted image to appear upright. There are two types of prisms with different shapes, roof prism and poro prism. Roof prism binoculars that use a roof prism can be made more compact and lightweight as the optical axis of the eyepiece and objective lenses can be de designed in a straight line. Poro prism This type of binocular uses of poro prism invented by Ignacio Poro, an Italian inventor. It has excellent optical properties and enables a bright, sharp field of view from a low to high magnifications. Binoculars is used in the same way as a refracting telescope to observe distant objects. They enable us to observe the objects with both eyes so the image is spatial. Another obvious difference is the fact that binoculars with the same magnification as a refracting telescope are much more shorter and therefore much more convenient to use. The length of a refracting telescope is determined by the sum of the focal length of the objective lens and the eyepiece lens. In binoculars, on the other hand, the part of the rays is reversed twice as a result of reflections within the prisms. In this way, the required distance between the objective lens and the eyepiece lens can be shortened. The objective lens rotates the image upside down and right to left, a system of special prisms placed at the right angles to one another not only reverses the path of a ray, but also again reverses the image in the same way as the objective lens. Consequently, the resultant image is upright the notion.